Well, these are serious charges the now former lieutenant governor is facing, but for many of us, we could use a bit more explanation. All right, so right now, once again, we want to bring in our legal analyst, Barry Covert tonight. Barry, thank you once again for joining us in our newsroom tonight. Can you explain first, explain the charges again, Brian Benjamin and is, is under now, and go over what kind of punishment that he could face if he is convicted on all of those counts. Sure, he's facing a conspiracy to commit bribery and bribery counts themselves, a theft of honest services, and for filing false uh, business documents. Uh, three of those counts uh, carry up to 20 years of incarceration. Uh, he likely wouldn't be facing that if he were found guilty because he doesn't have any prior significant criminal history, uh, but they are serious charges of bribery, theft of, of services, um, and, uh, and, and, it, and the false documents, and it's very serious allegations. Hey, Barry, reporters in the courtroom in New York today, they say that part of Benjamin's bail package restricts his travel in New York to the southern and the eastern districts, so he will not be able to travel to Albany without, uh, out, without being on bail. But it's unclear, Barry, whether that restriction played any role in his resignation. What do you make of that restriction? And is it normal in a bribery or fraud case like this? It really is not normal in a bribery or fraud case to have these types of restrictions. Um, but it did state that uh, he could ask for permission to go out of the district. It depends on which judge you get, what the exact charges and allegations are. It doesn't seem necessary in this case to restrict his travel. He doesn't seem to be a risk of flight if you look at the case from the outside. Um, but it is, it is a, a restriction on his travel. Travel. I would doubt that that plays into why he resigned because he was permitted to ask for permission to travel to Albany and I would suspect that the court would expect that the permission would be granted if he remained in his position as lieutenant governor. All right, once again, we have been joined live in our newsroom tonight by attorney and legal analyst Barry Covert. Barry, thank you as always for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you.